Hey everybody, it's Cindy. Um, I promised a few of you that I was going to do the um, sprouting, the broccoli sprout video over again. Um, I've had a lot of questions lately because I've been posting some of my sprout pictures. So um, I'm going to go through it again. It's a really simple thing to do and it's so great, especially this time of year when it's miserable cold weather out, um, that we have some fresh growing greens in our own kitchen, you know, like that are organic and clean and no pesticides and, and really good. Okay, so um, the company that I get my organic seeds from is uh, Mums Sprouting Company. Um, the website is sprouting.com, I think. I'm pretty sure it's sprouting.com, but if you Google Mums, M-U-M-M apostrophe S seeds, you can order them. Um, they do come in smaller bags than this. Uh, I believe they come in 100 gram bags. Um, I just ordered the one kilogram bag because it lasts me for a while. Um, I use broccoli seeds, but you can get a mix. Um, a lot of the brassicas are in there, kale. Um, radish sprouts are really nice too. So there's a bunch of different ones you can do. I stick with broccoli sprouts because it's easy and I can get them in a big bag and that's what I do. So um, there's a number of different ways you can do this. I just use a mason jar and I bought this lid um, that fits a small mouth, small mouth mason jar um, with a mesh screen in it. I think I got it at um, Home Outfitters or Home Sense, something like that. You can also order them online. You can also use, which I did for quite a while, a piece of cheesecloth that you can get at Lens Mill store. You can even get cheesecloth at the grocery store now. Piece of elastic around the top of it and it works perfectly. Um, I have also ordered these lids um, that go on a large mouth mason jar um, and then you can drain them and they have like these little stands on the bottom so you can drain them out. Um, yeah, so either way, you can do what you want. You can make it really simple or you can get really fancy. Uh, you can go online and order um, uh, sprouting kits, all kinds of stuff, but you don't have to do all that. It's like really simple. Um, what I do tend to do, especially if it's been a while between sprouting, um, between my batches of sprouts, um, I will sterilize this jar. So I'll take some hot boiling water and just rinse the jar and let it dry um, just so that there's no contamination of bacteria or anything because it will, um, I have had them go bad for me before and it's not a great smell. So um, what I do is, uh, and depending on how much you want to do, you can start out with, you know, three tablespoons, six tablespoons. The last time I made sprouts, I did quite a bit and I just poured them in. Um, so I just pour some in here. Sometimes I do like six tablespoons. Sometimes I do a little bit more, just depending on how many I'm eating and how many people are sharing with me. Um, if I make wraps for the kids in the morning, if they're not making their own lunch, I always stick uh, sprouts in their chicken and uh, kale wraps. Um, uh, Ron's not too crazy on them. So anyways, that's what I do. I just put the amount of seeds. And after the first couple times you do it, you'll see how much this makes. And if you're not using it all, then, you know, you obviously make less. So then what we do is we pour in some water and you'll want to use some, you know, clean water, like either bottled water or if you, you know, if you have town water's fine. Um, we're on a cistern, which I'm sure most of you are. Um, so if your water's in good condition, <laughs> you're good to do that. Um, I often use... Um, bottled water just to be safe and then I put this lid on kind of shake it around and then you let them soak for at least 12 to 24 hours like I could dump this out tonight or if I forget about it I'll dump it out in the morning and then what you want to do is just pour enough water in to go up above the line of where your seeds are um, every single day just once a day and then you pour it over and dump it all out and let them sit now uh, I usually let mine go for three to four days. You can let them go longer, in which case you'll have microgreens and not sprouts. That's completely fine. What a seed is, is the entire being of what that plant is going to be. Just like an egg. You have an egg that's going to turn into an entire chicken, and that's why an egg has so much nutrition in it. Same with the seed. The longer that seed grows, the less nutrients you're going to get because the enzymes are used up, metabolizing to grow that plant. So from everything I have read, the most cancer 
sorry, cancer fighting property you're going to get out of sprouts is a three to four day old sprout. So that's why typically I let mine only go three to four days. Um, and then I, then what I do is I take them out. What I haven't used, I put into a Ziploc bag and I store them in the fridge. They easily store in the fridge for five days. And you know, you can smell if they're going bad, it's obvious. Now they will have a little bit of a sulfur off cabbagey smell. That's normal. That is what their normal smell is. But if um, if you open your baggie and it has a rank smell, you know they're not good anymore. And that's why typically I don't grow sprouts in the summertime. I don't have an air conditioned house and I find they go bad more than they're good because the heat, the temperature, um, you know, it's open to the air. There's bacteria. There's all kinds of stuff. So that's why typically I only grow them in the winter time and then in the summer time in the spring and the summer and the fall there's tons of other produce out there that you can get that's really healthy for you so this is a really great thing for this time of year um so that's the long and the short of it it's so simple guys so simple and these have been said to be 50 to 100 times more the cancer fighting properties of mature broccoli so what's in here is the sulf sulforaphanes um, extremely good at, at anti-cancer fighting. Um, all the cruciferous are very good um, for your detoxing of your liver um, and also for uh, getting excess estrogen out of your body too. Your liver, your liver does that as well, but that, that um, all those cruciferous vegetables and broccoli and cabbage and all those things help you um, bind that extra estrogen in your body and get it out too. So, Anyways, if there's any questions, please contact me. I'll let you know um, anything that you want to know that I know. Um, but this is a really, really simple and easy way to uh, get some fresh, um, wholesome greens with great potency um, and, and high nutrition in the winter months. So there you go. Have a great day and keep growing your health. Bye-bye.